In this lesson video, we're going to go ahead and continue doing the math calculations for our tip calculator so that we can calculate the 10, 15, and 20% radio button options when they're selected. We already have the switch statement created for us that will help differentiate between which radio button is selected so that we can have a conditional code based on that selection. Now, if you read through the lesson text, you'll know that we can do math calculations on doubles and int variable types using the basic mathematical operators such as the plus, multiplication, division, and so forth. We're going to go ahead and use that to calculate the bill amount based on what the user has entered in. And we already have a double that we can work with, the DBL bill amount. We can perform our math calculations on this double itself. So I'll go ahead and space down under radio 10's case statement and add a new line of code. What I want to do is set the TV tip total text. And so if you forget what that is, I'll switch quickly over to the activity main.xml. And I can see that I have the text view at the very bottom here called text view tip total. And if I switch over to the graphical layout, when we set this up, we did not actually put a value in here for the text. So it looks like it's disappeared or not even there. I'm going to switch back over to the main activity.java file now. And we're going to go ahead and set that text. And so TV tip total, if you remember, is linked to that text view I just showed you on the layout. So this is the object we're going to be working with to set the text value of the text view tip total. So I'll scroll back down and we'll type in TV tip total dot set text and inside of the parentheses we're going to go ahead and add the text that we want displayed on that text view. And I'm going to go ahead and add in there a double quote so that I can type in some hard-coded text. I'm going to put the tip amount is, put a space after that, and we're going to go ahead and concatenate another value. Now I'm going to go ahead and work with that double, so it's dbl bill amount, and I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication of 0.1, which is going to be 10%. I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. So that's going to go ahead and do the math calculation of dbl bill amount times 0.1, which is 10%. And it's going to go ahead and read the string, the tip amount is, and then give me the result of this math calculation. So now I'll just need to do the same thing for radio button 15. I'm going to go ahead and space down within the case statement to add some more code. And I'll just type in tv tip total dot set text. And we're going to go ahead and say the same thing. The tip amount is, put a space, and then the double quote. And we're going to concatenate the dbl bill amount times 0.15 and I'll go ahead and just copy that code for my next one and I'll just go ahead and paste that in and just change this change this to 0.2 for 20 percent so now I have the math calculations for the 10 15 and 20 percent so this will be for a math calculation because we're working with numbers. The plus symbol is going to be used as a concatenation symbol rather than an addition symbol because we're dealing with the string adding to it this value or concatenating to it this value itself. So that sets the values for this. Now I did not set the radio other because we need to do a little bit more work. We're going to actually have to pull out the text entered inside of that edit text to do the math calculation. So we'll do that in the next video.